we have this idea in our mind about you know the stereotype of who we think are our opioid users in this province and the data nowadays shows that you know it, it can literally be anybody um, so that's an important point to make you know people I think um, you know they use substances for a variety of reasons I mean use of substances can be you know normative in some ways if you look at people who you know have a drink after work and other people who you know it starts to become more problematic where they start overusing it and then it develops into a, a substance use disorder so there's a whole spectrum of use as well but you know people use people people basically when it becomes problematic people are using because they want to change the state that they are in um, you know, opioids were the, the one of the classes of medications or drugs that were considered because they have a relaxing effect on people, a sedating effect, a feeling of euphoria. Um, but unfortunately, the side effect of, of opioids is that it causes um, central nervous system depression and respiratory depression, and that's how people end up dying of overdose. Um, so that's, those are some of the things we need to really keep in mind is those, you know, breaking down those stereotypes that we all have in our mind of who actually is using substances. And it really lends us to an idea that um, we are all in, you know, we are all in this together and it's our family members and our community members and our nation members that have to look out for each other. I, I echo everything that Dr. Nell has said. In reality, you know, we have people who use substances for a variety of reasons. We have people that use substances um, recreationally, medicinally, or we can have in a relationship with uh, addiction. So, you know, there's been stories shared, you know, with um, community members who said that, you know, when somebody experienced an overdose event or an overdose death, the entire community was kind of in this state of shock and awe because they had no idea that that person was using substances. And I think that that's also an important takeaway too, because it's what is happening that, you know, that we don't know who's using substances in our community. And again, as like, you know, just echoing what Dr. Nell was saying is that so stick, the stigmas associated with substance use are just so profound that nobody wants to be outed as a person who is using substances. Nobody wants to be identified as a person who is using drugs or, or in relationship with addiction. Um, so, yeah. And for the purposes, you know, why people use substances are, are completely varied too, because recreationally, you know, uh, a drink after work or, you know, going to the occasional uh, concert or, or festival, you know, that's recreational substance use. But when we kind of have a relationship with addiction and, you know, that's where substance use becomes more problematic really is to cope with uh, historical trauma, past trauma, uh, current trauma, uh, probably grief, maybe loss, uh, a sense of loss or a sense of daily stress. Um, so people use substances, you know, to feel good about, you know, probably some not good things that are actually happening in their life at that time. Oftentimes people are completely unaware that their family member or their friend is using substances, but in other cases when it does become problematic, you know, there are a whole range of emotional, uh, physical and behavioral changes that take place when someone has reached the point of a substance use disorder. You know, so for example, people could have mood swings um, that are kind of unexplained. Physically, they could stop, you know, their hygiene might go down, stop, you know, looking after their hair, or their brushing their teeth or bathing, um, and then sort of more behavioral um, you know, signs like going missing for periods of time or spending money that, you know, can't necessarily be accounted for in any way afterwards, things like that. People will gradually, I think at some point when it becomes quite problematic, when people look back, they'll recognize, oh, there were actually a few little differences that I just, you know, I didn't take note of at the time, but now that you mention it. Um, and certainly for family members right now who are dealing with um, family who are using substances problematically, um, you know, there are definitely some changes that people will notice in, in their loved one's behavior. <laughs>